Let's take a quiz on this topic so that the concept about delivery is clear. First question. When the sale is made, goods should be A. Delivered to the seller's place B. Delivered to the place of business of buyer C. Only placed at the disposal of the buyer D. None When the sale is made, goods should be delivered to seller's place B. Delivered to buyer's place of business C. Only placed at the disposal of buyer That is he should the good should be placed before the buyer and he should take the delivery from there d none the answer is they should be placed before the buyer for his disposal okay a uh, next is a of mumbai writes to b of delhi to send him a book by post parcel the parcel is lost on the way can b recover the price a. No, delivery to post office is not delivery to buyer. B. Yes, delivery to post office is delivery to buyer. C. No, B has not got the book. D. None. Can B recover the price here? Yes, B can recover the price because delivery to post office is almost like delivery to the buyer. Though it is not a completed delivery, but it will be, it will be considered as the goods have been delivered. Next, where the buyer wrongfully neglects or refuses to accept and pay for the goods, he will have to compensate the seller in a suit by him for A. Damages for non-acceptance B. Price for non-acceptance C. Both of them D. None Here the buyer does not accept the delivery. He wrongfully neglects to accept or refuses to pay for the goods he will have to compensate the seller in a suit by him for damages for non-acceptance price for non-acceptance both of them d none the answer is damages for non-acceptance they cannot be price for non-acceptance because he is anyway not accepting the goods. So goods are with the seller himself. So the price would not be required to be paid. Only the losses because of non-acceptance will be required to be paid. Next, delivery of goods to the carrier for the purpose of transmission to the buyer automatically means that the property in goods vests in the buyer. A. True. B. Partly true. C. False. D partly false. Delivery to the of the goods to the carrier for the purpose of transmission to the buyer automatically means that the property in goods vests in the buyer. No, this is false. This does not mean that the property in the goods vests with the buyer. The seller may make a conditional delivery he may reserve the right to disposal of goods. Next, A sold a bicycle costing 1000 to B. B paid 500 and after some time A insisted B to take delivery. In the meantime, bicycle is lost. Who bears the risk? C. A has already sold the bicycle to B. So the ownership has transferred to B now, A was earlier owner, now B is the owner. B does not take delivery even after A's insistence. And in the meantime, the bicycle is lost. So who bears the risk? It is B because ownership is transferred to him and risk follows ownership. So the answer is B. Next. X agrees to sell Y 1000 bags of salt which are in godown. Before the date of delivery, the godown gets flooded with water. As a result, 1000 bags of salt were destroyed. Does Y have any rights against X? Now, X agrees to sell 1000 bags of salt which are in his godown. Before the date of delivery, godown gets flooded. 
as a result thousand bags of salt are destroyed does y have any rights against x a no y b can claim the y can claim the amount c y has the right to claim the goods d none does y have any claim over x the answer is no why because here the question says x agrees to sell there is an agreement to sell there it is not a sale contract if it would have been written as to x sold to y 1000 bags of salt then he could have recovered the price from x but now he cannot recover because he has not sold the goods the ownership lies with him so he bears the risk ram of mumbai orders bill of delhi for supply of certain goods the station master of mumbai informs ram about the arrival of goods but before ram could take the delivery goods are destroyed can bill get the money of goods a no ram has not taken delivery b no property is not transferred to ram c yes property is transferred to ram d none of these the answer is yes the property is already transferred to ram because the goods have been sold bill has sold the goods to ram and ram has asked bill to send the goods by train okay so property has transferred now whatever happens to good is buyer's headache in this case the property in the goods has transferred to ram now he'll have to pay the money to the seller bill in this case when the buyer and seller both reject the goods and the goods are in transit then a it is deemed that the goods are still in transit b transit is deemed to be ended c carrier becomes the owner of the goods d none of these both are refusing to take the delivery then in that case it will be deemed that the goods are still in transit next q sells 100 tons of rice to p at 50000 per ton p makes the full payment and says that he will take the goods on next week before p could take the goods the goods are destroyed the loss will be borne by p i have already given you the answer it will be borne by p because you can see the word sells that means q has already transferred the ownership to p p becomes the owner risk follows ownership so p bears the risk okay